Okay, fine. So in the uh, last lecture, we have seen uh, how we uh, how we can use the UI Automator viewer to get the source of uh, apps and inspect the elements. In this uh, video, we are going to see how to launch the native apps. We are going to work with the uh, calculator app that is built-in app in the Android emulator. So let's get started. Here uh, there is uh, one program, and you can see this capabilities are passed platform name Android device name app package and activity so this is very important uh, this app package and app activity i have already covered how you can get that app package and app activity uh, for the apps that are installed on the emulator or you can also ask the developer if you are not uh, sure what is the package name and what is the activity name so you have to give the main activity that is launchable activity so i have got these uh, things and uh, this might change uh, for different emulators like this is not fixed i have noticed that in the latest uh, emulators or latest android versions this package name and activity name uh, always keeps on changing so you need to find out the correct package name and activity otherwise your program may not work and then automation name is optional but uh, it is recommended to use this ui automator too if you want to uh, automate android emulators next thing is uh, pretty straightforward this is what we have already seen this one is uh, used to uh, create a new session with the appm server which is running on a 4723 port and then this is the timeout we have given 20 seconds so this is the uh, like similar to the how we use in uh, selenium we are given 20 seconds of uh, implicit wait timeout that means if any of the element is not found within 20 seconds then uh, the element not found exception will be thrown next uh, here i have used xpath to identify the elements and uh, you can get this uh, details like what is the xpath of those elements using the ui automator viewer which we have seen in earlier lecture but if you are not uh, sure or if the ui automator viewer is not working you can use this uh, page source method i'll uh, show you in the exact code here here you can see i have used this driver dot get page source so this is actually used to get the source of the app and uh, we are printing that in the finally blog because I want to print it every time just for the demo purpose and the rest of the code is self explanatory I'm just finding the elements clicking on uh, number two number six and then uh, making the addition and finally I'm comparing that the result should be eight here so just uh, run this program and then uh, let us see if it works correctly here is our emulator and uh, this time around it is going to launch the calculator app and uh, it will press 2 6 2 plus 6 and uh, result should be 8 similarly you can uh, automate any app built-in app or your own app as well uh, but uh, remember that you must know the app package name and activity name if you don't know you can also use the app uh, capability as well uh, you can give direct the application uh, as uh, like dot uh, apk file path of the dot apk file as well and then it will be launched automatically so let us just uh, wait for uh, this application to be launched calculator application and at the end of uh, this execution test execution remember that we have uh, printed this page source so that way we will get to know what is the how the ui looks for that calculator app as well so meanwhile this uh, program is executing let me tell you that i have got 10 years of experience in apm and the selenium and in, uh, automation in general so if you have any questions related to automation do contact me through email or uh, through comment section of youtube or anyhow like from the website also you can put comments under the article and then i will try to respond uh, to each of those comments so you can see now the application is being launched here And you can see the result is 8 and then it will compare that result is 8 and uh, if you look at the console here in the background it will print the output as well like uh, the source so you can see here, this is the source this is very useful information actually with the help of which you can uh, find the xpath and all that information you can see here android.widget.button so you can uh, relate this information there i have found those element using this class and then resource id as this one com.android.calculator to colon id slash digital underscore 2 
So this is the resource ID. So that's how you can use different different resource IDs or XPath, whatever you want to identify those elements. So this information is very useful because UI automator doesn't work most of the times. It's a bit, uh, bit of hack, but it works and uh, it's very useful. That's it in this video. In the next video, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to see how to inspect the iOS apps. And after that, we will also uh, launch the iOS app as well, native iOS app that is contacts app in the iPhone simulator. So it's going to be very interesting lectures, a uh, couple of lectures next, next couple of lectures. I'll uh, see you next video. Till then, goodbye and have a nice time. Till then.